Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your Mint Mobile eSIM to a new phone. Now, if you got a new phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process. But first, my partner Mint Mobile gave me the link down below. It gets you a discount off the first three months of the unlimited plan. So you can get the first three months unlimited data for $15 a month. Just click the link down below and it'll take you directly there if you haven't already signed up. But let's say you do have your account and you do have your phone. What you're gonna do is go to your new phone, your new iPhone or your new Android phone, and you're gonna download and install the Mint Mobile app. So go to the App Store or Google Play Store and you're just gonna search for Mint Mobile and just download and install it on your new phone. After you do that, let's open up the Mint Mobile app here and you're gonna just log in to your account. So make sure you enter in your phone number and your password here to log into your account. And everything can be done directly on here. So we're gonna tap on account at the bottom right. And then all we have to do is scroll down. And on here under SIM card is change device. So tap change device and it says switch your mint account from one device, the current one to another with basically you got a new phone. Now it says before you get a new eSIM, make sure that you are on the new device. So walk through this process on your new iPhone or your new Android and hit this get an eSIM. And this is my new device. And now the nice thing is it's completely free to do this. All you have to do is hit the checkout button and walk through the process. It will basically set up that new eSIM on your new device, on your new phone, and it will transfer your phone number from that old device, that old phone over to your new phone. Now, once your eSIM is fully transferred over, all of your text will be transferred, your phone calls, all that stuff, your voicemail, and keep in mind all phone calls coming in, all text messages coming in or going out will be activated on that new phone. The old phone will not have activation for that specific phone number. And you can always check it out just by tapping on settings and then tapping on cellular. And here is that eSIM, you just want to tap on it and make sure that eSIM is working, the line is turned on, and all of that looks good with your number that you transferred from your old phone basically over to your new phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.